nothing is ever really gone on Facebook, including things you decided not to share. Facebook is still struggling to regain public trust after the massive Cambridge Analytica leak. And while Mark Zuckerberg took the extraordinary step of actually apologizing for stolen user data, the controversy hasn't blown over as the company probably hoped it would. In fact, as more users download and examine their own data, the headaches for Facebook just keep growing. At Select All, Madison Malone Kirker wrote about what her sister found after downloading her own user data. On top of the usual disquieting stuff, contacts, call logs, and such, she discovered a ton of videos that she had no memory of posting, only to realize that they were deleted videos of her practicing on a wooden flute. Kirker writes, each video, she discovered, was a different take, recorded on Facebook, but then, she assumed, discarded before she posted the final version, to a friend's wall. In the archive, you can infer which video was posted on a wall versus the ones that weren't based on the comments. Videos that were never published are commentless. In one of the clips, you can hear, Kirker say, exasperatedly, that it is her 13th take. At the end of the clip, which isn't to her liking, she groans and reaches forward, apparently to delete the video and try again. And it's not just her sister, Kirker and a coworker both checked their own data and found the same thing. When Kirker reached out to Facebook, they replied that they were investigating and think that they've gotten to the bottom of it, that Facebook so aggressively collects and saves user data may not surprise some people, it's a free service after all and the users are essentially their product. But the revelation is one more controversy that Facebook doesn't need, especially as more sinister sounding accusations come out. Facebook isn't just struggling with Cambridge Analytica related stories, either. Over a year ago, Facebook was accused of allowing housing advertisers to choose their runs based on race, effectively bringing housing discrimination online and making it super easy for them to do it. The company vowed to end the practice, but on Thursday the National Fair Housing Alliance filed a lawsuit claiming that Facebook still hasn't followed through. That's not the only promise Facebook seems to have failed to follow through on. All that data Cambridge Analytica got its hands on, the more than 50 million users worth at Facebook said was destroyed. It hasn't been. Britain's Channel 4 discovered the data for more than 130,000 users in Colorado is still circulating, including personality profiles. That casts a lot of doubt on Cambridge Analytica's claims that the firm deleted all the data they collected, and gives even less reason to have faith that Facebook can keep its users' data safe. Mark Zuckerberg Technology Facebook More stories like this one.